Prop 30 is designed to help pay for California's transition away from gasoline-powered cars and to reduce wildfire danger. To pay for those things, Prop 30 would take the Robin Hood approach, taxing the rich. It's a new tax on incomes over $2 million. Full disclosure, I don't make that much. Prop 30 sets that tax to expire in 20 years or sooner if the state hits its target trying to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The state fiscal people figure the tax would raise between three and a half to five billion dollars a year. Here's where it goes. 20% of the money is for fighting and preventing wildfires, and the rest is to help fund the transition to zero emission vehicles, mainly electric, but also hydrogen cars. Most of that money is dedicated to help buy those cars, incentives for people, but also for businesses and government. The rest is to pay for infrastructure to help charge those cars. The spending's broken down even more specifically within each pot of money, and you can check that out in your voter guide. For context on the taxes, here's a look at California's current income tax. The first almost $9,000 of your income is taxed at only 1%. The next chunk gets taxed a little bit more, the next chunk more, and so on. We've got 10 tax brackets in all, and Prop 30 would create an 11th bracket, starting at $2 million, an extra 1.75% of tax, meaning those dollars over 2 million of income would be taxed at just over 15%. A yes vote on Prop 30 passes this 20-year tax hike, a no vote rejects it.